Hi Biohacker, welcome to another video. My name is Aggie here, Biohacking Bestic. And today I'm gonna talk to you about the best trick out there that can save you thousands of dollars on doctors, on fitness X. I will get you in the best shape of your life, will improve your skin, improve your hair, improve your bitchiness or <laughs> grumpiness, because you're not gonna have glucose spikes. And this, my dear, is the world famous apple cider vinegar, not sponsored by Bragg's, but I would love to one day. So Bragg's, what is Bragg's? It's an apple cider vinegar, but what's great about this one, and pick whatever one you want, I'm completely joking about being sponsored. It has to be unpasteurized. It has to be with the mother. So like, you know, it's kind of thick. The mother is the thing at the bottom, you see? And organic, three things, raw, unfiltered, unpasteurized and organic bags ticks off all the boxes and so what's so special about apple cider vinegar if you follow me on instagram and aggie you probably hear me talk about it for the last two years apple cider vinegar before every meal well there's many many reasons why it's amazing so number one it is great for lowering your glucose spikes so every time you eat whether it's sugar or not sugar you're gonna have a little glucose spike that's basically how our body works right you're gonna have a little production of insulin and the glucose spikes so depending on whether you eat carbohydrates or whether you eat fat or whether you eat protein these glucose spikes will be higher or lower so for example if you have a simple carbohydrate your glucose spike will be much higher versus if you have a salad right do science 101 they ideally want to have as little glucose spikes as possible for many reasons number one because it, it really screws up our hormones, a lot of insulin and a lot of glucose spikes. If you have insulin in your body, you won't be able to lose weight. This is just, again, science. So high insulin levels, not being able to lose weight. Next, hormone balance. I'm not talking about insulin or glucose. I'm talking about estrogen, for example. Estrogen is lovingly responsible for our belly area. Glucose spikes also lead to glycation. It's a natural process that happens to our body, but it's basically aging on the inside. It's like toasting on the inside. I'll record a separate video of what exactly glycation is but it obviously happens way more often when we have a glucose spikes also what's interesting about glycation is that actually attacks our collagen and else in our skin so our skin ages much much faster so all from glucose spikes we tend to have acne as well you are way more likely to have pcos pcos is called the diabetes of the ovaries for a reason. It's like ramping. I feel like every second one of my girlfriends, especially one that is vegan, is struggling with PCOS. And that's because of the glucose spikes. Next, the more glucose spikes, the more likely you are type two diabetes. It might sound crazy to you, you're like, I'm young, I don't really care about type two diabetes, but it really is a disease that it's you know the 20th century disease and it's really really serious and as you can see like for myself i was eating smoothies and fruit juices and was super healthy never had a cake in my life and i was still pre-diabetic not only that also insulin spikes cause you to have these fatigues these crashes and cause even more cravings so the more glucose spikes you have and the more crashes you have the more you crave sweets right and that leads to fatigues to bitchiness to irritability all of these not so fun make our days feel like a total roller coaster not fun okay so what this apple cider vinegar really does it actually lowers our glucose spikes it helps with our insulin resistance so it's like magic so if you have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar mixed with a glass of water and have it before every meal and then eat in the right order i'll share it in another video and it's gonna work like magic so if you have it especially before pasta before like something sweet or like a simple carbohydrate i personally also love mixing it with the lemon water not only because it kills the taste of apple cider vinegar a little bit but also lemon water is absolutely great for liver and liver is the powerhouse for women especially because it metabolizes hormones, especially estrogen. So again, if you have estrogen levels that are all out of whack, you're going to store fat around your belly area. You're going to have issues with your skin and your hair. Okay. So now that we know apple cider vinegar is great, it lowers our insulin. This is super important. There's so many other benefits of apple cider vinegar because it's acetic acid. It actually helps us with digestion. So if you're anything like me, and if you eat when you're stressed and you don't chew your food and I try, I mean, I tell myself, okay, count one, two, three, four, five. 
I still do not chew my food. And this is another video why you should be chewing food and you should be chewing more and have chewing gum. And I'm going to record that one separately. So what apple cider vinegar is, is actually an acid. And I know we probably heard of many lists of times. We have to be alkaline. We have to be alkaline. But our digestive tract actually has to be more acidic. So when you have a reflux in digestion or GERD or heartburn, so not so sexy, different digestive issues, it's actually from your body being too alkaline, right? So look, look where Eric Berg talks really openly that our body is actually too alkaline in our digestion system. So what happens? You don't have to believe me. You can just test it for yourself. Next time you feel like you have a heartburn, you feel like you're not digesting food properly, have apple cider vinegar beforehand. And actually that acetic acid will help your digestion as well, which is actually epic. And the more acidic you are in your digestive tract, you'll be able to absorb more minerals and more nutrients. And it's the calcium, especially for women, that we're struggling to absorb from our food. And that's why we get really stiff. If you wake up in the morning and you feel stiff, that you're more likely deficient in calcium and apple cider vinegar will actually help you absorb calcium and what last but not least apple cider vinegar helps us hold on to potassium potassium is such a powerful mineral in our body especially as women we are all deficient in potassium we all say like oh have a banana you would have to have a 12 bananas to actually hit your potassium like score and you're actually depleting yourself out of potassium as well so apple cider vinegar helps you hit your potassium goals and potassium is great for so many ways, including constipation. That's going to be topping for another video. But overall, this is the cheapest hack you can do. I have a little bottle that I carry with me to restaurants or I travel with it. And I see a massive difference whenever I do have and I don't have apple cider vinegar. And I can talk about it forever and ever. Yes, digestive enzymes are also great and ox butter and whatnot. And if you have more digestive issues, I'd love you to check out my other videos when I talk about that. But overall, I will say the Redinger is like the biggest hack for you to lower your insulin spikes, manage your hormones, help yourself lose weight, as well as help your digestion. I hope this was helpful. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.